neighbor, how are you? Is there something I can do? Let me help, let me share, let me show you that I care. Neighbor, neighbor, I love you. This you'll see by what I do. Hi, bumblebees. Mrs. Hillig is so happy to be here with you again today. I hope you had a good week. And today we're gonna to learn about neighbors and how we can love our neighbors. So who is your neighbor? Is it the person that lives in your house? Is it the person that lives next door? Is it your friends, your family? Well, Jesus said that your neighbor is anybody that you know that needs help that you can help. And that's who your neighbor is. And our new verse today says to love your neighbor as yourself. And we're going to learn all about the neighbors and all about how to love them, and especially out of God's Word today. So, what about if somebody is sick? Can you help somebody that's sick? Well, can you think of something you could do for them? Maybe you could color them a picture and send them a picture. Maybe you could make them some food and take it to them. Or maybe you could send them some flowers. But what about if, um, let's see, what about if somebody doesn't have enough food? Maybe you could donate food to the New Life Food Cupboard. There's lots of ways that you can help your neighbors. And we're going to learn about how somebody helped their neighbor in today's Word. So this is sort of like a little Bible. It's not really a big fat Bible like I use, but um, this represents God's Word. And that's how God talks to us, through His Word, through the Bible. And it tells us what to believe. It teaches us about Jesus and how to live. And inside is God's law. And God's law tells us to love God. Number one, love God. And number two, love your neighbor. So that's what you learn in the Bible, is to love God and to love your neighbor. Now you remember, if you were here with us last week, that our Bible story told us about how Jesus died on the cross, he didn't stay dead, he rose again, and then he went up to heaven. And then we also learned that there's one God, right? One true God in three persons. And we know that that is God the Father. That's right, God the Father. And then we have God's Son. And who is that? Jesus, that's right. God's Son, Jesus. And when Jesus left and went to heaven, he left us with the third part, the Holy Spirit. So we have one God in three persons. So before we start our Bible story for today, get out your imaginary bag and reach inside your imaginary bag and get your listening ears. They should be right up on top from last week. Put your listening ears on while we read the story from today's lesson. One day, a mean man wanted to trick Jesus, so he asked him a question. How do I get to live forever in heaven? And Jesus asked the man, what does the law say? And the man answered, love God in every way and love your neighbor as yourself. That's right, do this and you will live, Jesus said. That answer bothered the man, so he said, but who is my neighbor? The man was still trying to trick Jesus. Then Jesus told him this story. Listen to the story that Jesus told. One day, some mean men beat up another man and took all his things. They left him hurt and all alone on the road. Let's look at the picture we have for that. Look at that. They beat him up and they left him all alone and they ran away from him. Now, a man who served God at the temple saw the poor hurt man, but he decided he wasn't going to help him. The temple man walked by the hurt man on the other side of the road. He didn't care about the hurt man. Then another man who studied God's word and taught God's word saw the poor hurt man lying there, but he also walked over on the other side of the road. He didn't care about the hurt man either. Those two men didn't show love to that poor hurt man, and they didn't show that they loved God either. After a while, another man came down the road. This man was called a Samaritan. Can you say the word Samaritan? That's a pretty long road word. Say Samaritan. That's pretty good, Samaritan. Well, 
The Jews didn't like the Samaritans, and they wouldn't have anything to do with them. But this man, he saw the poor hurt man, and he went right up to him and he said, I'll help you. Let me wrap you with bandages. Here's some medicine. Then he took the good and, and helpful man, and he put, he put that man on his donkey, and he took him to a place to rest. What a kind man. He took care of the hurt man. He showed love to him. When Jesus finished telling this story, he asked the man who was trying to trick him. So who was the neighbor to the poor hurt man? Was it one, the man who saw Solomon walked away? Was it two, the second man who walked by and looked away? Three, the man with the donkey who stopped and helped and showed love? Yes, the Samaritan who stopped and helped was the neighbor to the poor hurt man. He showed love. And God loves us, and he gave us Jesus to save us from our sin. And when we love and trust Jesus, we show love to other people. And so we'll love and help people because Jesus loves and helps us. And that's our story for today. Now, if you find in your mail, you might get something that looks like this, a couple straws and some paper that you can put together, and you can tell this story using these little straw stories. And it you get your little necklace that says, ask me about who helped the hurt man. And you can tell the story about who helped the hurt man. So number one, the man was beaten up and then left alone. And two men, two different men walked by and they didn't care and they just left him there. And the third man, number three, number three, the third man helped him and showed love. And who is my neighbor? The third man. And Jesus says for you to do the same. Remember, that's our verse for today. Love your neighbor as yourself. And this is how we do. Love your neighbor as yourself. How about we sing some songs and praise God with our singing? Let's go over and sing some songs. fun. I really enjoyed that. So we did our little God in three persons over there. And do you remember the answer to your question, who made you? That's right, God made you. And what else did God make? God made everything. And why did God make everything? God made everything for his glory. And God wants you to glorify him because he loves you and he takes care of you. So how can you glorify God? Trust and obey. Let's sing that song. Trust and obey, for there's no other way. Jesus, but you trust and obey. Again, 
job, everybody. So let's go over our verse for today. The verse says, love your neighbor as yourself. And this is love. Love your neighbor. If you take your hands like this and put them together in front of you and then just put them down, that's neighbor. Love your neighbor as yourself. And we can sing a song to help us remember that verse. And it's really easy. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor. And that is God's commandment. Remember in our, our Bible book over there, when we opened it up, it had the law. And it said, love God first and love your neighbor. And that is God's commandment. So how about if we sing a fun song, God is so big. So get your muscles out. i got to move the chair out of the way. Ready for this? Get your muscles out because God is so big. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Get your mountains out! The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. And there is nothing that my God cannot do for you. And all you need to do is pray to him and ask him. And I probably should have left the chair over there because we're going to sing another fun song. So when you trust and obey Jesus, it's kind of like you're serving him. And um, some people serve our country in the army. And when we serve Jesus, we're in his army. So let me move my chair out of the way again. And let's sing, I'm in the Lord's army. We're going to march first. I may never march in the infantry, riding the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fight for the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir! in the Lord's army. Are you in the Lord's army? I sure hope so. So as we sing along here, we want to sing a little prayer song that says for God to hear us when we pray. Because we're going to close in a little bit and say goodbye. And um, so let's just sing our little song, Hear, O Hear Us When We Pray. Blessed Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Hear, O hear us when we pray. Blessed Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Hear, O hear us when we pray. Sorry about that. So let's get our get ready. One, two, three. Dear God, help me love you most of all and love all others too. Help me show love every day in what I say and do. In Jesus' name, amen. Goodbye, bumblebees. I'll see you next time.